aspect uh, of skateboarding, but on, on the punk side, it has definitely come full circle. And uh, you've been interviewed on a couple of, for a couple of docs, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw that Joe Sib thing, man. I love Joe Sib. But yeah. um, this uh, other guy, uh, John Foote, he's doing a uh, documentary called The Pioneers of Punk, and we just recorded a song for that, yeah. too. And it's going to be coming out uh, next year sometime. Should oh, be very cool. Yeah. Speaking of Joe Sib, uh, one of our correspondents, he, uh, he went to the, love you, Joe. the premiere documentary of Punk's Not Dead. Here it is. Hey, what's up? It's Joe Sib from Sideway Dummy Records, and tonight I'm at the premiere of Punk's Not Dead, a look at 30 years of punk rock, and everyone is in this film, from Henry Rollins to Tim from Rancid to Billy Joe from Green Day. We're gonna be hanging out with a lot of people tonight, talking about punk rock, where it's been, and where it's going. People who say punk's dead, I always think like it's such a selfish concept, because as if they own the definition of punk rock, and that's just nonsense. Punk is undefinable. What was the hardest thing about making this film? I mean, you covered 30 years of punk rock. That's a lot of music. That was probably the hardest thing. I mean, just trying to condense, you know, so much great music into such a short period of time. You know, it's been four and a half years in the making. It's been a really long time. There was so much territory to cover. How did you guys make that happen? Basically, just focus on the bands that uh, are still doing it today. That was the genesis of the idea. See who's out there, so old and new. Today, punk rock seems like it's bigger than ever. Why do you think punk rock is so important today, Monkey? Uh, it still speaks to the the kids in the same way it did you know 20 or 30 years ago it's a good vehicle for social change on a very small level if you can touch one kid make him think i don't know i think it's a life sounds thing and it's nice to see a lot of people out here that have made it their whole life you know and it's three you know it's music it's my whole life like yours joe and um, i grew up and when i heard bands like the descendants punk rock is freedom did you feel when you started Youth Brigade and started BYO Records that it would still be going as strong as it is today? Hell no. You know what, I, I really, I mean, when we started, it was like, you never thought past five years. Absolutely not. 30 years later, I gotta ask you to pick that. Well, I think it died in 84, man, I thought. <laughs> One of the biggest influence for the Ataris. Oh, it was definitely Jawbreaker. Bad religion for one, right away. All the 60s, you know, the King, the, the Move the Beatles, the Stones, uh, but it all got pompous and uh, something had to be done. So there you have it, the premiere of Punk's Not Dead. And if you get a chance, go to punksnotdeadthemovie.com so you can find out all the people that are in the movie, find out all the bands that are in the movie. Great, great film, documenting 30 years of punk rock. I've had a blast, I'm tired, I'm gonna go home because I feel like I've had 50 years of punk rock tonight. I'll see you all next time, I'm Joe Sib for Fuel TV. Thanks a lot, Joe. Do not want to forget the, the Birdhouse Am. <laughs> Still to come, Daily Dubs and one more performance by JFA, but first we check in with Chris Pastris in this week's Guide by Scion.